We are at the Supercharger in Dublin, in California, and we're going to do a range test with the Model 3 today. So we want to see if you can match the 500 kilometer, 310 mile range that is, well, EPA range. Uh, so we have a Model 3 here. Uh, it's been charged to almost 100% now. It stopped at 99% for some reason. So um, we're gonna give it a little bit more and then off we go. Uh, so for some reason it stops at 99%. I don't know if I... Didn't I push the slider all the way? Yes, I did. Huh. Uh, so, I mean, uh, yes, it's, this happened from time to time. Uh, but I mean, it's probably because of unbalanced BMS. Uh, so, um, it's as good as full. So, uh, yeah, so let's go then. We are cruising now on the motorway, uh, doing 90 kilometers per hour. That's uh, about 57 miles per hour, I think. Uh, so we're doing, uh, well, not like totally eco run, not hyper miling, but it's uh, we still, you see, we, we use uh, uh, air conditioning. So um, uh, this will simulate like highway driving. And, um, consumption is now 154, what type of kilometer? It will go down because it's, it always spikes early here. So I did a quick math and uh, I heard that we should have 70 kilowatt hour available. But, I mean, that's what the owner said, uh, you, you. Uh, so um, if that is true, then we only have to average less than 140 watt hour per kilometer. And the Model 3 is very efficient. So um, let's hope we can get the consumption lower now. We have to see it's still early in the trip. So uh, we're just gonna go straight now for 20 kilometers. Yeah, and the car is, well, it's on autopilot, you can see it here. So yes, time, time out to hold the steering wheel. Yeah. Okay, no one is driving. The car is driving itself. <laughs> so actually we are three drivers on board. The, it's Björn, uh, and I'll drive some, and the car is driving itself. So, we're rolling on the interstate. Yes, I will do the first leg and then after a while we switch drivers. We have been driving for half an hour and now we are finally at the interstate 580 that will turn into the I-5 later. So, um, consumption is looking very good, 127. Our target is less than 140. Um, but we have we have uh, descended a little bit, 50 meters, so that is of course an advantage. But uh, over time now, the consumption will uh, even out. So um, it's looking pretty good so far. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so far. So we don't know. I mean, there could be other, uh, like, uh, could be headwind, tailwind, or whatever. So we just have to keep driving and see how it goes. We have been driving for one hour and ten minutes, and. Um, we are at 80% now, so we don't know if it was, you know, 99.9% .9 or if it was 99%. So we could have spent 19% or we could have spent 20%. But anyway, we have done 101, yeah, little over 100 kilometers, average is 135. So, uh, so far, it seems like we should be able to make 500 kilometers, just barely. <laughs> but uh, we still don't know yet. It's still too early to uh, conclude anything. We have been driving over two hours, and uh, so far we have done uh, 193 kilometers. So based on this uh, estimation, we uh, we should still make 500 kilometers. But uh, the consumption has gone up a little bit. I'm not sure why. I mean, it could be some uh, some headwind. But it's not too strong wind here. I'm not sure, but there's like no reference point, no flag or anything I can look at. So. But uh, it seems like we're going to turn around at uh, Harry's Ranch. <laughs> yes, uh, the smelly place, Harry's Ranch. But we'll not use up there, we will just stop, go to the restroom, and uh, turn back again. Yeah, let's see how they do this. Uh, that one trip, yeah. We are now at the supercharger at Harris Ranch. So we're gonna stop here, go to the restroom, take a quick one, and then turn back again. So the status so far is that we have done 245 kilometers. Well, we should switch off this one for now. Yeah, 245, so we are halfway. We have 53%, looking good. And the navigation estimates that we will arrive with 5% left. Hmm, 
So uh, yes, uh, let's see then. Wow, it's nice and warm here, 21 degrees Celsius. And um, are we getting further south? So uh, I'm gonna show you over there. Uh, you might see it if I just snipe the camera. There, there you have Tesla supercharger. That is good shit. And then over here, we have uh, a hydrogen refueling station. That is bullshit. <laughs> and then we have some fossils. <laughs> so we have a little bit of everything here. Uh, let me see. So uh, maybe we should grab something. It's a quick stop. And then off we go back again. Because it's, we, we started very late because uh, there was some slow supercharging. Uh, so it's already 4.30. So we better head back home before it gets too late. So it's going to be dark in an hour or two. You know here, it's different now. I've been here before. Uh, it was in, uh, where was it? 2016, wasn't it? Yes, 2016 when I went on the road trip with the Model X. And this one used to have that, the remains of the swap station. But you see now, it's gone. Yeah, so it's been totally uh, shut down. And there's no trace of tre Tesla over here, except for the supercharger over there. But uh, yeah, I don't know what the heck happened to that project, but uh, it wasn't very... Uh, like, it wasn't very popular. Nobody used it. They used the supercharger instead. But uh, I think we'll go to the restroom and maybe find some stack. Alright, we are heading back now to Dublin Supercharger. And uh, now Harald is driving. The car is driving. Well, the car is on house. Just uh, so we have some uh, sun. Uh, as the car is driving and uh, Harald is in control. So, um, that means I can just slack. Yeah. Yeah, nice and spacious here in the, in the passengers. Oh, wow, look, look here, I'll show you something. The footwell here is so deep. I have to just stretch my legs here. Wow. Lots of space. Yeah, so let me see, it will take um, about three, like two hours ish, two hours and 45 minutes maybe to run out. Well, actually, it'll be more than, more like three hours because we, I think it's. Uh, when we get there, we will have 5%, so then we have to go a little bit back and forth around there to run it down to maybe like 1-2% left. Now oh man, this is just so relaxing. The roads are like super straight <laughs> compared to Norwegian roads. So, and uh, my co-pilot is uh, doing the drive for me. Having some coffee? Yes, uh, so... I went to uh, Panda Express earlier today and uh, of course I got a fortune cookie so I'm going to pop it and see well, okay, hang on, I have to eat some of the cookie first of course Alright, so I've eaten some of the fortune cookie and let's see what the message says It says Prepare yourself for a change of events in your personal life uh, Whatever that means Consumption has been going up. I mean, it was 135. Why is it going like 
it was slightly higher and then it dropped once we started driving but now we have some some uh, side wind who ends up up road so consumption go up so at least i mean if as long as consumption is going um uh, it stays below 140 then we should be fine so you see it goes up and down a bit this is for the whole trip and this is for the current run, run like right it is dark now and um, we are close to 400 kilometers in another eight Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! So 400 kilometers on autopilot, actually. Yes! <laughs> and a quick math here uh, 400 kilometers, if we want to uh, go for 500 kilometers, uh, we should have spent 80% of the battery, which are 20% left, but we have 24% left. So this is looking pretty good. But, there's always a but, because the consumption is going up now. Uh, not only that, but according to the weather forecast, we will have headwind. Now we have slight tailwind, I mean slight sidewind, and then we will have headwind when we start heading against um, Dublin. And also we will have to uh, climb a little bit of elevation. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure how far we'll get yet. Sidewind, as I mentioned, and we will get headwind soon. And you see, consumption has gone up to 140. But you know what? <clears throat> it seems like we get more than 70 kilowatt hour out of this pack. Uh, my estimation so far says uh, about 72 kilowatt hours. So that means the, the average consumption can go up to 144, and we can still make 500 kilometers. So that is very good news. Um, I didn't expect this battery to be that big, uh, so if we, see here we have 63 so far, but we have to wait till we run it down to zero, or close to zero. So if you add braking protection, we might have as much as 76, 77 kilowatt hour uh, gross capacity on this long range uh, pack. Alright, we are getting closer and closer to the supercharger. And now we have 8% left and um, we have consumed 66 kilowatt hours, 467 kilometers done. Uh, according to trip meter we will arrive at the supercharger with 4% left but, um, but that means we will drive only 490 kilometers so we have to take a slight detour before we go to the supercharger. I think it's like, uh, yeah, we can do a little bit, a little bit of back and forth driving around here. It's uh, fairly safe to do it here. Uh, we are now in the city. We, we actually took a little detour because we had to burn some extra kilometers and also to avoid some traffic here, Sunday evening traffic. So uh, we're trying to conserve energy and uh, we are yeah, almost not touching the brakes. So unfortunately, uh, the Model 3 does not regen that strong at the lowest speed, unlike uh, a pair of E i3. But still, uh, we don't lose that much energy by not uh, like, barely touching the brakes. So, anyway, uh, we have done 490 kilometers now, and we have 8.8 .8 kilometers to supercharger. So, um, looking great. Uh, the car estimates that we will arrive with 4% left. That is a little bit optimistic. I, I think three percent left. So um, just doing the, the final adjustments now around the city-ish, and then we'll actually hit the highway again, the freeway, and then back to Dublin supercharger. Yeah. This is that end, Stormlight. Yeah. This is it. Tesla service center and superchargers. What? 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 They are like busy at this hour. Sheet one spot free. Well, okay, that's the only one we need. 
498.9 kilometers, 499. So we had to drive in a circle around the <laughs> service center. <laughs> I can push the car if it runs out. Uh, let me see. Um, so we need to uh, drive one more kilometer somewhere here. Can we just drive around at the service center? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I think we can drive in a circle. It's so big and flat. Do you think we can drive around it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just look at the map here. Yeah, yeah. Just, okay. We can do so. I think over there maybe. Oh yes, we are filming top secret facility right now. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe this is, uh, yeah, okay. All right, 4999, let's hit the magic 500 number. Okay, almost. 500! Woohoo! Oh, <laughs> yes! Yes! Good job! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, we have done 500 kilometers. We still have 4% left. So, um, but I mean, to for us, well, we just wanted to hit 500. And it's getting late. So, I mean, we could, of course, try to drive it down to zero, but uh, it's a little bit risky. Uh, if we drove it to zero, we would probably get 510, 515, maybe 520, but. 500 is good enough, we, uh, we hit the mark. So uh, let's stop and juice up and look at some numbers. Oh, we are finally back at the supercharger in Dublin. So let's look at some numbers here. So we have 3% left, that is uh, pretty much the lowest I want to go. Uh, but we have driven 500 kilometers and uh, 70 kilowatt hours so i did the uh, the quick math and it seems like we have 72 kilowatt hour available so that means that the battery must be maybe 76 77 i'm not sure uh consumption 140 wow that is pretty low so you know that is pretty impressive uh we managed to drive the epa rated range of uh, 310 miles 500 and uh, 500 kilometers and we still have air conditioning on uh, climate control and we drove at you know normal highway speed uh, so um wow that's uh, that's pretty good this is you not know, the, the cheap tesla not the expensive chest tesla so uh yeah good job good job finally finally yeah. back at the supercharger <laughs> yeah it's a bit uh, well bit afraid to get lost in the traffic <laughs> with no power yeah <laughs> so uh, oh wow finally back 500 kilometers in the mall 3 oh wow so um that's it for now then so talk to you guys later